everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you my latest creation, which is built on the uh, PhotoPlay Folio Number no. Two. So that's the substrate that I used for this album. So really, all I've done is add my designer papers. Um, well, you have to build it. You get a kit, and then you build it. Then you add your designer papers. So um, I am pretty darn impressed with this, honestly. I think it's a great size. You can put it together pretty quickly, so it's a great last minute gift. It's not, I mean, it's not like a card, so you're gonna have to spend a little more time than that. But I think if you gave yourself three solid hours, start to finish from opening the Folio 2 package to um, finishing, you can do it. The instructions are very, very good. So I actually went through and built this twice. The first time I had uh, some confusion on step five, and that was really all about me, not the instructions. So if you follow the instructions as written, you're not gonna have any trouble at all putting this together. So the paper that I'm featuring here is Chow Bella Delta, which I think is beautiful. Now, one of the reasons that I selected this um, paper and this during this time frame is this is an awesome Father's Day gift, and you can put it together relatively quickly. So the overall dimensions for this are five and a half, by seven and a half. So it's a nice size. You can get some photos in here, but it's not so big of a project that you just give up before you're finished. These are some cut aparts that are in the collection. This is a piece of Graphic 45 hardware, which I thought went well. So I covered the spine in the same paper that I used on the cover, and then I did the same thing. I used the same paper from the back and the spine. So there's some flow going back and forth. This is some ribbon that I had in my stash and it actually turns out this is leftover ribbon from Catch of the Day. So if you bought Catch of the Day, didn't use that Grosgrain ribbon, it'll work here. So when you first open it up, and by the way, I went back and forth about this. I was trying to get this strip actually under um, this hinge and it didn't work out. So I'm gonna have to try to trim it. So one of the things that I did find difficult about putting this together is there's places in this album that I would have, have have liked to put the designer paper down and then add the element. This is a case. I would have liked to have put down this cover for the spine and then added my, my um, hinged page so that all of this would have been well under the hinge and no risk of buckling. The other way around that is to make sure that you trim this piece that's covering the hinge narrow enough that nothing on either side is going to interfere with it. Very, very simple front page. I kept it that way so you can have a nice big feature photo here. Inside, I've just cardstock back one of the cut aparts. I'm using magnets to hold things closed. And if you'll notice, this is this is a continuous page, which I think is really pretty. The folio opens again to the right, then you have this nice big pocket, and I've put some cut aparts inside that are cardstock backed. Then the folio opens again to the left with pockets, to the right with pockets, and then here you have this waterfall. So all of this is designed by um, photo play. So all you have to do is cover things. But like I said, there's some things I would have done differently knowing what I know now. For one thing, the background uh, paper I would have laid in before I put any of the um, waterfall on. And that way we wouldn't have this stop start of designer paper. That's just too thin to try to deal with after the page is in. And I'm going to build another one. And when I do, I'm going to build it the way I would build it. Um, I think they give you the instructions. They're not making an assumption about whether or not you're putting designer paper on it at the time you're building it or not. So I had some leftover charms that I dug through and I found this frog. And I'm gonna call it a crane, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not a crane. <laughs> it's probably, um, a, not a pelican, but a, um, one of those pink birds, flamingo. Then I've, uh, this is a cut apart and then I've added some additional paper on the inside so that we have two things tucked in. Same thing here. And then we have our waterfall. Now I've used one 
image and then use it across the waterfall. And I cardstock backed um, the back side or the B side and I left the A side without uh, photos because it was too hard to coordinate another designer paper right here, but also there's likely to be a photo. So I'm not terribly worried about that. And then I added this piece of paper um, right in the back. So you get this beautiful continuing pattern, which I love, in a waterfall. Okay, this closes to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. I really like this um, project. Like I said, it's pretty easy to, I have to do it upside down because I'm left-handed um, if I want my uh, bow to turn out right. Um, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I think if you set aside three hours, including um, some level of paper coordination, if you don't decide to use the, the patterns I'm using, you're going to be able to knock this out. That's pretty nice. So the next time I build one of these folios, folios I'm going to show you how I would decorate as I build the folio. Because like I said, there's a few places where I wish the designer paper had been laid down uh, before. And for the most part, that's really the centerpiece where the waterfall is. So that's it. That's our latest project using PhotoPlays Folio 2 and featuring Chow Bella's Delta. And I, again, I think this is a great collection for Father's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and head on over to Scrap and Create. Check out our store if you haven't already. See you soon.